what's going on everybody quick update on the dinos so today is friday i've been using the dino x when did i start last saturday i guess it was so almost a week um i think the dinos are clearing up i mean it's definitely an improvement but still not, you know, 100% gone. Um, one concern at this point is I think I may be losing my digitatus. It looks like they're dying. Um, so I'm assuming that the Dino X treatment is killing them, which I saw some other people say that it's really harsh on SPS, but most other corals tolerate it pretty well. Um, another concern is with my blastos. They look okay this morning. Yesterday evening, they looked a little bit rough. And that one, the mouth to it was kind of opened up a lot last night. So I was worried that they may be having an issue, which, look at that one. I think that one is dying. So we'll have to see um, how that goes. I, I hate losing any corals, of course, but some of those blastos I spent a lot of money on. Um, the one there in the center, I think I paid like 150 or $200 for it. So, I mean, they're not cheap, and I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's early, so all these guys had not opened up yet. Um, but like I said, I think I've pretty much lost the uh, SPS there. The green one in the back still has a few polyps on it, but the forest fire and the blue look pretty rough. They're all white. Um so anyway, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I think it, it says to, to basically don't do a water change till a week after, but I think I'm going to go ahead and just do a 10% water change. Just, I don't know, just to try to help maybe my blastos and corals. Um, in doing so, I might start the dino outbreak over again. I might make it worse. Um, I don't think it's going to help that side, but I'm just kind of concerned about my corals. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do like a, just a slight water change, maybe about 10 gallons. Um, and just see if that kind of helps anything as far as their health goes. Um, and we'll go from there. I'll do another update and let you know kind of how it's going. Um, this has been a, a horrible and interesting experience for sure. I would definitely say anybody uh, starting out a new tank, you know, with dry rock and stuff, uh, make sure you <laughs> don't go for the zero nutrients. You know? Make sure you're testing and have some in there so you don't have to go through this dino stuff. The other corals look okay. I mean, I think, you know, the clam was looking okay. The zoas were all open last night. Um, different ones of those kind of open different parts of the day, I've noticed. Uh, the mushrooms, that one's kind of wilted up, but it is early. I think it opens more up as it gets more light. The torch will open a little more throughout the day, but it's open right now. It looks okay. But like I said, just for coral health, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit of a water change. And uh, and clean things up and and go from there. If, uh, if the dinos start getting worse again, then I'll know, you know, not to, not to do that again. It says on the bottle, the max to treat it's for 30 days. So, I mean, we're not anywhere near that. So we'll, 
hopefully we can beat this stuff out. I am still dosing the nitrates and phosphates and I'm keeping an eye on that. Um, as, uh, as Mark Callahan said, you know, you can raise those levels and it helps fight dinos as well. So I've, you know, I'm doing that too with the Dino X and I know it's just, you know, a process. It's going to, I'm sure take some time and it hadn't quite, you know, one day shy of a week, but, uh, as far as with the Dino X, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.